right, guys. Uh, this is part three. This uh, New Holland L225. Uh, it's all back together for now until it decides to do something else. But uh, here's the line I replaced. I mean, you guys should look at it. It's actually this line's actually bigger than uh, the line that uh, they call for. Um, and you guys that ever have a line blow out, um, I think this line here is like 80 some bucks. And I just had New Holland make a line for me and cost me 46 or 48 bucks. And it's rated for higher PSI. But yeah, and then it runs up through here. And then it uh, goes down and uh, these two pipes here. Uh, it wasn't really a bad job to do other than trying to get the hose to go back and to, uh, to connect to those uh, pipes here. It's kind of a tight ordeal because you don't have a lot of room. Um, I guess you can make the hose a little bit longer. Uh, but I do have another issue I have to address down here yet and I haven't figured out what it is. Um, it's been throwing a code here the last month here. The code is uh, 3000 and when I look it up it is for the engine uh, E, -E oh, I can't think of what it is now ECU um, something um, I think it, that's what it says ECU um, I asked New Holland and I'm gonna call him here again maybe tomorrow and ask him again um, he said something about uh, airway, I mean, uh, air filter restriction, and um, when it first came on, I did check the air filter. It was dirty. Uh, it wasn't bad, but it was dirty. Um, so I blew it out, and I drove it for a while, and it went away. Well, then, uh, about, yeah, about two weeks ago, it came back on now. So... Uh, no, I can see what started here for you and show you guys what it does. Um, everything runs good on it. I don't have a oh shut the radio off. Let's see if she turns it on right away. comes a slate up here with the question mark and then if you look at it it shows 3000 and then uh, I mean to ignore it I just push this button here and then it goes away and that's how many hours are on this machine but then that light stays up there it's this question mark and I'm not sure uh, what to look at here I I'm thinking it's a sensor but because everything runs good, everything works good on it. I don't have an issue with anything. Um, but I like to know why it keeps coming on so I can uh, get it off. Um, but anyone out there that has any idea or what I could try, um, I thought about looking at the sensor on the air cleaner in the back. I can imagine those sensors aren't cheap. But, uh, what I'm gonna do now here, hopefully this weekend, it's supposed to warm up to like 42 degrees. I'm gonna actually pressure wash this. And just get off all the mud and that underneath here before it gets cold again. Clean off the oil around the back end here. And I'm actually gonna go out and buy some new Holland paint. And uh, just touch up, touch up the back here. Um, got all these little nicks here and that. Um, just so it doesn't start the rust and everything else. Uh, and then I'll probably buy some of this gray and touch up the quick attach on it. Just keep it looking nice. So when I do decide to sell it, you know, it looks in good shape yet. Um, and then I gotta fix this door seal yet. Um, as you can see, it's coming off here. And there's a bunch of crud in there. And what I'm gonna do is, I think this is one big piece. I'm going to probably take most of it off, clean it all up, and 
then uh, get some adhesive and put it in there and put it back on the door and uh, that should take care of that problem and then I still gotta address that hole in the seat there yet um, I think I got all the, I got the mouse that was in here out of here but I haven't set traps in here just to see, but I haven't caught anything now, so and I haven't seen any activity, so I think we're good, but then we'll just clean the cab up and everything and should be uh, ready to go for the winter. And then uh, I shut that heater off and I'm running out of time here, but then uh, we'll be working on that 685, getting that pressure wash and then ripping that all apart because that needs uh, quite a bit of work but uh, stay tuned uh, I'm gonna do some new equipment videos so stay tuned for that and uh, uh, thanks for watching please comment rate, and subscribe